Hey YouTube, it's your girl Mika Too Fancy, and today I'm coming to you with my way overdue video on no other than Lace Fronto. <laughs> I had an install video put up with me wearing my hair so fab, um, elite Indian wavy hair, and I had an frontal to match that hair. As you can see, I am no longer wearing the frontal. This is my leave out, and this is still the hair, but I'm just going to do an in-depth video for you guys, just so you know what to do, what not to do, and just basically my experience with a lace frontal. So, if this is something that you may be interested in, then keep watching. Alrighty guys, so the frontal I was using was from the same hair company that I'm wearing now, which is Hair So Fab. I had their frontal and their Indian wavy hair. This is the frontal now. Um, for you guys who don't understand or don't realize or don't know what a frontal is, a frontal is basically a larger version of a closure that's going to go in your, um, your hairline. Like... So, so you won't have to worry about having any of your hair left out. So, my experience with my frontal. Okay, my initial install with my frontal, I went to um, a stylist that had it installed because it was something new for me. I didn't want to mess it up or destroy my frontal. So, I got it installed by a stylist and she did a phenomenal job installing my frontal. It looked really uh, perfect and flawless and all that good juice. The only thing that I didn't like about my install, well, my initial install with my frontal was that I felt that um, my frontal was a little bit too far on my hairline. So, as you can see, guys, I have like a baby forehead, like barely have a forehead. I don't have a huge forehead. So, with the frontal being so close on my foreline, headline, hairline, uh, I just felt like it looked really unrealistic to me, to my liking personally. It may be because I do hair, I don't know. So what I did was I um, I lifted up the front to the front part where she had glued down the adhesive. And what I did was I, um, I felt like it was a little bit too thick as well, so I went in myself and I tweezed more hair out of the frontal. And what that does is it gives you more of a realistic um, hairline. And as you can see, um, what you see through there, that's the glue. But I just thinned out the, the temple area just so it can look more realistic. I gave myself like more edges, more um, thinner, thinner areas. Cause you know, not everybody's hairline is super full. So I just wanted to tweeze it out more to make it more look more realistic. So from my tweezing myself, this is all of the hair that I tweezed out of my frontal. Just so you guys can get an idea of how much hair you need to tweeze to make your frontal look realistic. As you can see, that is a good bit of hair. And this is just the hair that I personally tweezed out. This is not including the hair that my stylist tweezed out before she installed the frontal for me. So, yeah. So, um... Basically, what tweezing the frontal does is just gives you more of a realistic hairline, so um, you won't look like Wolverine. You know, you, you give that, it gives you that Beyonce real realness, really all together, and um, yeah. So. Um, after I reinstalled the frontal myself. Well, not so much reinstall. When I say reinstall, that means really just lift it up and push it back. I, all I did was I just um, lift, took off the glue. And what I used to remove the glue on my frontal was this um, Salon Pro 30 Seconds Lace Wig Bond uh, Lace Cleanser. This is what I used at first. And then I ended up finding this um, Salon Pro 30 Second Lace Wig Bond Remover. But I actually will say, guys, I actually like the lace cleaner a lot better. I feel like it helped um, get the glue off my skin as well as, you know, the frontal itself. So, yeah. So, once I removed, the, uh, removed her adhesive that she put on, I the adhesive I bought to um, put it back down myself was the 30 second. Um, can you guys see it? All right, 30 second extreme home lace wig bond. That's what I used to apply my um, frontal back myself. And 
I would say that, um, I mean, I, I enjoyed the frontal. It was something that was perfectly installed. My only thing or issue with the frontal was the glue. So I would personally prefer that if you guys, or would tell you guys that if you want to get a frontal installed, to get it installed by a stylist who knows how to sew it down completely. Um, but, and you're still able to get the versatility of a frontal. When I say that, I mean that, um, for instance, my stylist, Leanna, she, um, she was able to sew down the frontal for me, but the front of the frontal was adhesive down to my forehead. The glue is really, really annoying to work with. Personally, I didn't like the glue at all. I, I'm a person who sweats a lot on my forehead, so that just did not work out for me at all. Um, so yeah, I would say to not get the adhesive, um, not get your frontal install where you have to use adhesive. I would say to get it completely sewed down. And the issue with that is, um, most tellers know how to just sew it down, but you'll lose the versatility of a frontal. The whole point of a frontal is that you're able to, you know, I'm going to put it on my chest. You're able to part the frontal in any direction that you want. It gives you that full versatility of, you know, like a real scalp. So when somebody is not able to sew it down or are able to sew it down but don't know how to sew it down where you're able to get the full versatility of it, you can only wear the frontal like flipped over or like one single part. You're not able to get the full versatility of the full free parting of a frontal. So I personally, I love the whole frontal. I love the look of it. I love the way it, um, the versatility of the frontal and not having to worry about having my leave out out. But the thing is, I would recommend that if you get a frontal or you wear a frontal or want to get your frontal installed, to get it installed by someone who knows how to do the full sewing method of it, but you're still able to allow you the versatility of free parting all over. So, do some research, find you a really good stylist, or I would also recommend getting a frontal installed as a unit. Um, I just feel like it's a lot easier. I'm not... Y'all know I'm pro wigs than pro sew-ins anyway, so I prefer wigs any day. So next time that I get a frontal, I'm going to get it installed as a unit. So I won't have to worry about having to glue it every day. Um, it just will sit on your forehead and blend naturally without you having to use adhesive. So, yes. My experience with the frontal... Um, okay, with this, the glue that I used was initially was the Salon Pro Lace Glue. I like this glue as for it staying on my head and not having to reapply it every single day. But the only thing that I didn't like about this glue was that you could see it through my lace. Meaning that it glued, it, it glued, it dried like white. So you, when I wore my frontal, you can kind of see the build up glue underneath it and I really didn't like that at all so I stopped using the Salon Pro glue and I switched over to the liquid gold glue. This glue is not for lace it's just like a regular weaving glue and it dries like a brown tint so I really liked it a lot more but the thing that kind of irritated me a little bit was um with the glue with the frontal, the more you wear it, the more you're going to have to, you know, not every day, but every other day, you know, just cut a little bit of the excess lace off. And once I wore it for so long in the glue that I used, I didn't like the residue that I left under it. So I ended up really applying my lace glue again. And I really like didn't have any of the edges from the, from the frontal. I had my own edges out. So I pushed the frontal a little bit further back on my hairline and I had my own edges out but that caused pulling on my edges from the glue which is not a good thing. You do not want to pull your edges out ladies. So I would definitely recommend that you get somebody that knows what they're doing, that knows how to work with frontals, who have had tons of experience working with frontals to do your install or to find someone who is perfect at customizing your hairline for you and can just make a unit for you or customize the hairline for you and send the frontal to you so you can make your own unit. So 
Um, a lot of questions I've received about the frontal was, you know, does it pull your edges out? Um, did I experience any hair loss? And I would say, yes, it pulled my edges out just a little bit, but that was because of my own fault. Not because of the frontal, not because of the person who did my install. It was my own error because I applied my frontal. The, the second time I put my frontal on myself, I applied it too far, too far back on my actual edges. So that means that the glue was on my edges and sitting on my edges and rubbing. So just like a little area in my temple, it just pulled like a little bit of my edges out. But not like crazy where I'm like bald headed or nothing. So yeah. Definitely recommend a frontal. So get you a frontal from Hair So Fab. Their frontals are amazing. It gives you um, free parting, full versatility of your hair. You don't have to worry about having to wear your leave out out. So I would definitely recommend a frontal. Get you one if you want that Beyonce flawless look. Just make sure that you get it installed. Um, not on your hairline, a little bit further up on your hairline. And I would say if not, if you don't get it sewn in, then definitely get a unit made. That's what I will be trying next. I want to definitely get another frontal, but I want to get it at, with a unit made. So I won't have to worry about the glue. So, um, pros and cons of wearing a frontal. The pros is it's full versatility. Um, you don't have to worry about any leave out of your own hair. Um, it's just super easy to work with. The cons would be the adhesive. If you're getting it in installed with glue, it is really, really annoying. Um, I really didn't care so much for the glue, having to do it daily. Like, if I'll sweat in one area, it'll lift. So, all this is the glue down, but I had to go in and put glue here, and it was just so tedious and so annoying. So, I didn't like the whole frontal with the glue, but if that's something that may float your boat, then try it out. I would say that, um, I think a personal, I think a personal, I personally think that a frontal will do great for someone who has a larger forehead, who um, may be experiencing thinning on their edges and don't want to have to worry about doing leave out or having their hair out at all. If you have a larger forehead, then that gives more space for the frontal to sit on your head and look more realistic than like me who has a baby forehead who has to have it installed on a certain right of part of my head or it's going to look kind of weird to my liking. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have to say about me, about this frontal. If you guys have any more questions or concerns or anything about the frontal, make sure that you comment below and I will answer your questions for you. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, and y'all have a good rest of your day. Bye. Stay fancy.